I'm so tired. <coughs> Story time. Well, years ago, um, there was something so embarrassing. Every year, my nanny comes over from England and comes to visit us here in Northern Ireland. We take her out to cafes and everything with my mum, because she's my mum's mum. Now, one of these particular <laughs> trips to a cafe, um, it, this happened a good few years ago, I don't re really remember, but I, I think I was like 17. <laughs> my mum, my nanny and me, we all went out to this cafe in town. At the very end of it, mum goes to the loo, I don't know what nanny does, and then I go to the loo. <sighs> Um, I locked the door and pulled my jeans down, pulled my pants down, sat in the toilet, did my business. Grant. And there was a knock on the door. Now, me being deaf and not always hearing knocks, I don't always know that if the knock I've heard is real or not because my head can be a wee bit fucked up. And I, I don't really reply. Just because I'm never sure, so I figure, eh, it's fine, I won't, I won't reply, it'll be fine. So then, the little door handle goes, so it does, and of course it's locked, so the door's not going to open, right? And that's fine, I was just like, okay, they got it, they know that the door's locked, it's fine. It'll be fine, they'll go away, they'll come back whenever it's free. Wrong! <laughs> Slowly, the lock was becoming unlocked, and I legitimately saw the lock turning. The person unlocked the door, and the door literally swung right open. And the guy, this old guy, just standing there. Like, oh, sorry. And I'm just like. I'm on the loo here. Hi. Do you mind? <laughs> so he closes the door. I don't even think he locked it. I think I actually had to lock it again myself. But <laughs> it was the most embarrassing thing ever. <laughs> this guy actually physically unlocked a door and found someone sitting on the loo. At least he didn't see anything, so there's a bonus. <laughs>